Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Shavi Joffrey. Uh, right off the bat, I am going to warn you guys that this video is going to be a little different from what you were usually used to see me doing. So if you're not into dramatic stuff, come back for a regular vlog tomorrow. Because in this vlog, I will be talking about the Tamara situation and why I don't vlog with her anymore. Okay, let's begin. Uh, in yesterday's vlog, I said that I would be answering questions regarding the Tamara situation, why I don't vlog with her anymore, and similar questions. Now, there are two parts to this story. Part one, the part that I can talk about, and part two, the part that I cannot talk about. Just to be clear, guys, I am not in contact with Tamara, or I did not speak to her prior to making this video. I honestly try to ignore making content like this, but you guys are the reason why I'm making this video today. For the past two to three weeks, you guys were constantly asking the same thing over and over again. Where is Tamara? Why don't you vlog with Tamara anymore? And, and rightfully so. I mean, like, she was such a prominent part of my team. When she disappeared, it was very clear that, you know, there, there might be an issue, there might be a problem, and I never addressed the fact that she left. So rightfully so, you guys were asking all of these questions. To be honest, I am guilty of not really addressing the issue and honestly I try to ignore the questions for as long as I possibly could. Now just to be clear, I never delete any comments and that is because I have a rule to stay very transparent with my audience. Uh, if I were to control the comment section or what my audience is saying, I would compromise the transparency in my relationship between between myself and my audience. So I want you guys to know that I never ever delete any comments. Now coming back to the comments you guys kept asking me why don't you shoot with Tamara and I tried ignoring it because one I try to stay away from drama as such and secondly my job is to make you guys laugh and entertain you guys so I really didn't want to get into get into this mess you know what I'm saying but anyways here we are now and talking about it let's begin with part one of the story or the part that I can basically talk about all right okay first of all to those who don't know and or are new to the channel Tamara was an old friend of mine I had known Tamara for about a little over a year. I used to shoot comedy videos with her. That's how I, I started. I, I got to know her. I used to shoot videos with her that would go up on YouTube and Instagram. And she was a very prominent member of my team. And then I started vlogging. And as you guys saw, she was a very, very pronounced member of my team. She was always in the foreground. She was always very entertaining. That's why her personality was very noticeable. The point that I'm trying to make is that Tamara was always a very strong member of my team. She was always in my vlog. She was very entertaining, very loud, very adventurous. However, this is where things started taking a turn, okay? Now this, what I'm going to be talking about is about a a month, a month and a half ago. This is where I started noticing, noticing a change. So about a month and a half ago, I started seeing a different vibe come from Tamara, you know? She never said anything to me. She would act all weird and she... Like, I don't know how to explain this, but it was almost as if like, you know, when you're forcing somebody to be around you, you know, it, w it was that kind of a vibe. The type that makes you feel that basically, yeah, you're forcing somebody to be around you. That is the vibe that I got from her. I tried to confront her a couple of times and she would just deny the fact that, that that's true. She would say that, oh, Shavi, you're just thinking all of this. No, Shavi, you're just, you're just imagining all of this. Nothing's wrong. I don't know what's wrong with you, Shavi. At that point, I just had a very clear indication that either something's wrong with me or there's something wrong with her. Now anyways, about a month ago, we got into a little bit of an argument. Uh, you know how friends sometimes, they're good times, they're bad times, they're good moments, and sometimes friends do end up fighting. So it was just like one of those, you know, small little arguments. Well, that argument kind of escalated. We both are guilty of saying some harsh things to one another. Now this brought me to the point where I, I confronted her for the last time. I told her that, listen, I don't know what you're saying, but I do see a, a change in you, and I don't know what's going on. So it's better for our friendship that you tell me right now what is going on or we can no longer be friends because this is a very uncomfortable relationship at this point. Now guys, this brings me to the part two of the story, the part that I cannot really talk about in greater detail. Her and I sat down and we talked about what is going on that I don't know and that she's something that she's not telling me. And then she told me something that I cannot really share on camera right now with you because truly it's private and it's confidential. But just to get a gist of thing, but what she told me was basically a reason why she can't be in the vlogs anymore. And I was just sitting in front of her. I was just, you know, I don't really want to tell you guys 
like okay i'm i wish i could share what she told me but i hope you guys understand that i, I really can but basically she gave me a reason and then she told me that she can't be in the vlogs anymore even though i respected that but i would be lying if i would say that i wasn't disappointed i was highly disappointed i was angry and i was irritated by the fact that she would quit but you know that is the gist of the overall story that is what happened to be honest guys you can't really control anybody people sometimes in your life they come and they go and you just got to understand that and you just got to respect that there's nothing that you can do about it you just have to be positive you just have to be forward thinking and you just have to hope for the best and that is a overall detailed wrap and analysis of my side of the story but anyways guys it is what it is and we just got to move on but that being said on a lighter note i want to tell you guys that i recorded a funny maybe the funniest vlog that i've ever recorded with sunny it is it is so funny that while we were recording it we just kept laughing like <laughs> but the reason why i can't attach that footage with this vlog is that because this vlog is way too serious for that vlog the content of both the vlogs is somewhat of a contrast so i'm going to be releasing that vlog tomorrow and here's a little preview oh no oh no i don't know light is running i don't know the light is not coming no the light is not coming but where is the light coming